Okay, this is a quick presentation of the coverage of our textbook that uh, we will aim for in this version of EE 345. I'm going to use the enhanced ebook screenshots to talk about it, but it works for physical books of this edition, that is the eighth edition, and anything quite a few editions back. So one of the things to notice is that the book has three parts, one about principles of devices and circuits, and then the second and third parts are about specific integrated circuits. This textbook is used in a lot of schools for a two or sometimes a three semester sequence in electronics. We're just using it for one course, which is this course in electronics, the primary course. If we look a little more closely at the contents, you can see that each part has several chapters. And as I said, we'll do the seven chapters of part one. And when you look at those specific topics, they start with the basic principles of signals and introducing the basic concepts of amplifiers. Then we go to operational amplifiers, which are a super circuit, that is a, a, a block circuit that actually contains a lot of different components. Then the next few chapters are about semiconductor physics and semiconductor devices, the basic devices, diodes and transistors, that are the semiconductor devices that are used in both discrete and integrated circuits. And then the part one finishes up going back to the principles of amplifiers, specifically building real amplifiers using transistors. I do draw your attention to the first sentence, the sentence at the bottom of this screen. Part one includes the most fundamental and essential topics for the study of electronic circuits. It does constitute a complete package for a first course on the subject, like our course. So the next video I want you to watch is an overview of how I believe you should read or more accurately study a chapter using this textbook in particular, but really any textbook. I'll see you there.